Tonight on the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror, when a curious young lady opens up the Warren's artifact room, she lets out basically everything. Tonight's movie, Annabelle Comes Home. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror! Ow! Worst apocalypse ever! Yes, episode number four, episode number four. Oh man, coming off of last night's uh, violent and sleazy Japanese pink movie entries of a virgin. Honestly, um... I don't like the title because none of those people are virgins. I mean, not by the end of the movie anyways. <laughs> anyways, anyways, anyways. I, I mean, I guess maybe the driver because he didn't really get any and he got murked or was he not the driver? The, the Whatever, the, the guy who gets killed first. <laughs> maybe he's never had sex. I don't know. Anyway, so maybe that's uh, the intros they're talking about. Anyway, so tonight, tonight, tonight. We have watched some older films, and so I thought, okay, it's time to bring us into uh, something more recent, and the one movie that we are going to talk about tonight is part of the Conjuring universe, and, you know, Conjuring 1 and 2 are really great movies, really awesome movies. Uh, the the spinoffs have been a bit um, hit or miss with most misses, though. The Annabelle Creation movie was really good. Um, so let's talk about the latest one in this series, and that is <gasps> Annabelle Comes Home. Now, Annabelle come, come, Comes Home. Ugh. Will this movie be like Annabelle Creation, or will it be more like the original Annabelle and be a big disappointment? Well, let's talk about it. So what is Annabelle Comes Home? Well, it is about the Warrens. Well, not really about the Warrens. It's about the Warrens' daughter, who, um, like her mother, is uh, attuned to the the spirits and the 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 dead and undead and whatever. And uh, the Warrens have to go off somewhere, and so they're leaving the the poor daughter to uh, be by herself with her babysitter, but. Uh, her uh, creepy friend, who seems to be into the occult, uh, wants to stop by, and then, of course, there's this guy who really likes the babysitter, and he's a complete moron, and really, he should have died some time ago in this movie, but uh, anyways, let's... <laughs> anyways, uh, so the, the creepy uh, friend of the babysitter, she uh, lost her dad in an auto accident, so she th thinks that if she goes to the uh the the war room or whatever the the room of uh, the forbidden room of all the demonic uh stuff that uh, she will be able to contact her father and and speak to him for reasons that the movie tells you but i'm not gonna get into because uh, you should find out for yourself anyways and of course she goes and touches everything and lets out annabelle and uh Let's just say, uh, things don't go well from there. So, let's get to the scores, shall we? Violence and gore, I am going to give it a 1 out of 5, because uh, there's really not much going on there. Yes, there's violence. Um, however, um, honestly, <laughs> they're, 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 it's, it's, it's not very bloody. It's, 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 does anyone die in this movie? I'm trying to think. If anyone dies in this movie, um, I mean, the spoiler alert, I guess, but uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, anyways, um, so yeah, just not much uh, going on. Uh, I'm giving it a one out of five. Um, shock value, I am going to give this a four out of five because this is the meat and potatoes of this movie is to create tension and to blah, you and yes, yeah, some people hate the jump scares, and I think those people um, just have no joy left in their souls uh, because it's like going on a roller coaster and saying, oh, look, we're going down a hill. This is so uh, 
you know, derivative of a roller coaster. Why can't it do something different? Oh, look, we're going up. Oh, we're, we're feeling that that rush of adrenaline going back down the roller coaster. Oh my God, this is so predictable. You know, yes, yes, people, there are value, uh, value valid arguments against jump scares. I understand that they can be over relied on, but if they're executed well, and they get the heart pumping, and they give you that feeling and that rush of adrenaline, then it's good. I'm sorry, it's good, and I'd like to have that. And yes, especially now where, you know, one could get desensitized and, and numb to the horror experience, and you can't, it's, it starts getting rarer and rarer to get that feeling. I will appreciate it when it can pull it off, and I will give it points for that, and I will be happy it does it. And it does that in space. This movie creates a great, creepy atmosphere, and the jump scares that are there are, of course, plentiful, but enough of them are impactful enough to make me enjoy this movie. So, four out of five. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Now, going on to plot, I am going to give this a 2 out of 5 look. It doesn't do anything spectacular. Yes, it is relying on the jump scares. Um, cliche city, yes, the, the daughter gets to be home by herself. The parents, the safety are away from the area. Um, so, what we get is a standard standard setup. Uh, the thing that I'm dinging it most though on points is that this is supposed to be an Annabelle movie because it's called Annabelle Creation. But what this really is is a uh, Warren theater, theater of Horrors movie and should not be called Annabelle Creation because really Annabelle is not really just she's like a side character. Like everything's a side character uh, when it comes to the actual horror villainy stuff. And uh, it's it's more of a of a, a whole bunch a kaleidoscope of the things that are uh, cursed in in the uh, the lockup um, from a piano to a television to a um, samurai suit uh, to some coins it's a wedding dress it's it's all there and there's no real focus on any one aspect of that, and especially not the focus on the doll, um, not a killer doll movie in the least. So, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna ding in a lot of points because um, even though it's effective in some of the stuff it's going to do, I'm going to be upset with the plot not being uh, revolving around Annabelle herself. So, two out of five. Moving on to acting. I am going to give this a 4 out of 5. Uh, the wannabe boyfriend is obviously the weakest link in this entire movie, and I absolutely hate this 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 guy, and uh, not in real life. I hate his character, and I just, you know, whatever. Anyways, uh, everyone else does like a spectacularly wonderful job. The, the daughter is great uh, being insecure, shy, awkward. Um, the creepy, the creepy girl, um, you know, she she does she does the the job because she, she's nuanced enough to be uh, seeming like you know the girl who's who's taking advantage of the situation. But then you you get the sense that you know she's doing it because you know she's really hurting inside and she wants to find answers to certain questions. And and then of course you've got the babysitter who's 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 kind of trapped in between this. Of course, you've got uh, the Warrens in there um, in the beginning, and they do a, a wonderful job, the little uh, intro, <laughs> um, I guess, scene, which is uh, pretty great. So, I don't know, I really enjoyed the, the acting in this one. Four out of five. Moving on to uh, nudity. Uh, zero out of five, honestly, the the entirety of the Conjuring universe so far, uh, from what I've watched, is just never going to have any nudity. And then again, you know, like, what were they going to do? They were going to have, like, one of the, the, the teen girls take a shower or something? I mean, <laughs> people complain about cliches all the time. They'd be dragging that one through. Um, I mean, they're not. They're not going to do that. They're not going to do that. So, um, yeah. Zero out of five. So, 
not not a problem, not a problem. <laughs> Anyways, uh, moving on to enjoyment factor. I am going to give this a solid three and a half out of five. I enjoy the atmosphere. I enjoy the aesthetic. I enjoy the, the shocks and the jump scares. What I didn't enjoy was the over-reliance on CG, especially with the mist wolf thing going on. That was stupid and annoying. Uh, please, more practical effects, more practical effects. Come on, guys. You can do it. And yes, I am disappointed the lack of blood and death and carnage, but, uh, you know, can't always get what you want. Sometimes you get what you need, though. Anyway, so, uh, still very enjoyable. I, I enjoyed it a lot, and I'm glad that uh, I picked it up. So, uh, three and a half out of five. My overall impression, though, is a three out of five. It just... Needs to be an Annabelle film. Uh, that's the biggest complaint. Uh, everything else, uh, minor here and there, yes, like some blood and gore, uh, less CGI. Um, but honestly, a solid, solid movie. Uh, not as good as Annabelle Comes Home, and definitely not in the echelon of the the two mainline Conjuring movies, but definitely better than The Nun and uh, Annabelle 1 and... I'm not seeing the curse of La Llorona or La Llorona, whatever. I don't know. I, I don't know. I've heard bad things about that one. Anyways, but there you have it. Annabelle Creation. Tell me what you think in the comment section. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Did you like the movie? Did you not like the movie? Um, be sure to rate, subscribe, blah, blah, yada, yada, everything in the world. And uh, I will see you next time on the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror. And until then, people, you stay scary, Internet. And remember, remember, you don't go into the cursed room or the room with all the cursed items and touch everything and let everything out. That's just... That's, that's just bad manners. I mean, honestly, you're a guest in that house. You just go rummaging through people's stuff without permission? That's rude. Super rude. Very rude. And plus, you know, like I said, you might end up getting possessed by evil demonic forces. So that's a, another bad thing. I mean, sure, you most likely are just going to be kicked out and never let back in. But, you know, that, that side chance of the whole, you know, possession thing, you know, don't, don't risk it. Don't risk it, man. Ah!